Hi guys, uh, last time we talked about harmonic minor um, with a more theoretical approach and I promised that uh, this week we will look at the harmonic minor and how to put it uh, to actual music. Basically, uh, the, the, the two main modes of harmonic minor and I keep this in A like last mm -hmm. week um, would be uh, the first mode, A harmonic minor itself <laughs> scale, um, in her case E, the E dominant 7 chord, and that mode is called frigid dominant or frigid major, okay? So for those of you who are into modes and are familiar with frigid, all you do is you, you take your frigid scale, which is a, a minor scale with a flat uh, second, a flat third, a four, a five, a flat uh, six, and a flat seven. And in, instead of using the, the minor third, the G, you use a G sharp, and that gives you frigid major. Okay. So, um, I, I'll just give you a few ideas on what to play um, in harmonic minor or. Uh, frigid major. Um, obviously, um, since the, the G sharp is the note that kind of creates um, the particular uh, A harmonic minor E frigid dominant sound, you may want to find um, within your scale, uh, you may want to find uh, shapes that have that G uh, sharp in there. So that would be, for example, on the B string 9, 10, 12, and then 8, 10, 12 on the high E string. Okay, so wherever you find the G sharp, um, you just play the notes of the uh, A minor scale, but um, you add that G sharp, or you replace the G for the G sharp. Right there, um, I'm on uh, 13, 15, 17 on the B string, and then uh, 13, 16, 17 on the high E string. Okay. Um, Here's a cool thing uh, I found about um, I found about the uh, harmonic minor scale. Um, thanks to the G sharp instead of the G, uh, we get three half steps in the scale. So the first half step would be between the G and the A, which is seven root. Then we have another one between the second and the minor third, and then we have another one between the, the five and uh, flat six. Okay. So in our case, it's G sharp A, B to C, and E to F. So wherever you find these three half steps on your uh, fretboard. that uh, frigid dominant harmonic minor sound and uh, another thing you can do um, is this um, that's kind of like a, an, an octave idea three notes per string so um, I'll show you two ways of playing this one would be the shape um, So that would be uh, 13, 
12, 10, and then 12, 10, 9. 13, 12, 10 on the high string, 12, 10, 9 on the B string. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm repeating that in octaves. So the next octave would be on the G string. 10, 9, 7, and then on the D string, 9, 7, 6, and then repeat on the A string, uh, 8, 7, 5, to E string, 7, 5, 4. Okay, and then um, the same thing you, you can do a little bit higher on the fretboard uh, with the notes B, A, G sharp and F, E, D which would be um, 19, 17, 16 on the high E string and then um, s uh, what's that? 18, 17, 15 on the B string and then you just repeat that in octaves okay, which would be 16, 14, 13 on the G string, and then on the D string we have 15, 14, 12, and then we have um, 14, 12, 11 on the A string, and 13, 12, 10 on the low E string. Do um, which is a common thing um, used by a lot of new classical players, uh, especially over the E chord. You can use the notes F, D, B, and G sharp. So, what you're doing is you start on the major third, the G sharp of that E dominant seventh chord play diminished arpeggios. Now the cool thing about diminished arpeggios is you have to learn one shape and since the diminished arpeggio consists of only minor thirds okay all you have to do is find those minor thirds in, in, in our case um, I'll give you one shape um, G string one four B string 3, E string 1, 4. Okay? And if you get familiar with that string, for example, you may want to do a sweep, down, up, up, up. And then you just repeat that whole thing uh, a minor third up. Starting on the 13th fret of the high string, 13, 10, and then I do. Um, well, you can do this. Let's do this. Two notes per string. Um, 12, 9 on the B string. 10, 7 on the G string. 9, 6 on the D string. 8, 5 on the A string, and 7, 4 on the low E string, which gives you this. Okay, and I hope that's enough uh, ideas to fool around and keep you busy for a while.